Hello dear friend, dear meditator, welcome back to our YouTube channel for another guided meditation. I am your host, your guide, and as always I am truly honoured to be a part of your journey. If you enjoy these meditations, you might also enjoy getting a new meditation every single day. I post daily meditations on Patreon. By becoming a patron, you get daily downloadable meditations, as well as exclusive videos and content, monthly Zoom meetings with me, Q&A sessions, and special discounts on upcoming courses and meditation retreats. Not only will you enjoy all these perks, you will be supporting the channel in our mission to simplify and demystify meditation, transcendence and awakening, and spread these beautifully simple techniques to the world. So please do have a look and sign up now on www.patreon.com slash Raphael Writer. That's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Raphael Writer. All the links and information are available in the description notes under this video. So without further ado, let us begin on today's meditation. Please make sure you won't be disturbed during the entirety of this meditation session. Approximately 20, 25, 30 minutes will be needed for today. The session will be divided into two parts. The first part will be a vibrational meditation, a meditation for transcendence, where we will use a vibration to transcend, meaning to go beyond our current intelligence, our understanding of life and the concepts we have of time and space and who we are, what we belong to, how we are an expression of the universe, of the cosmos, of God, if you will. And the second part will be a quote, an idea, something to contemplate on today. It's very important at the end of the meditation when we've created this stillness, this calm, this peace, to take some time to reflect on the important questions of life. Today's quote will be by Pema Chodron. I think it is something that is very important to know, to reflect on. So let's begin. If you've not done so already, please close your eyes. Put your hands to your heart, either in a praying position or palms flat on your chest. We will dedicate this session to someone. It can be anybody that you want, somebody that you know or not, somebody that you love or is having challenges with. It can also be towards yourself if this is what you need at this moment in time. Nice deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhalation, we project our love, our gratitude and appreciation towards that person. Imagine, visualize, feel the person receiving your dedication and note how this new bond makes you feel. So simple yet so powerful, isn't it? And now I will start the vibration. It will be very soft at first, but it will grow. And start right now putting your attention, your focus on that vibration, putting it on the foreground of your mind. This vibration will be our anchor so that the mind doesn't drift away and so that we're able to experience the very core of who we are. Release all expectations for the meditation as this will be a blocker. If you yearn for an experience, for a state, You will be projecting yourself in the future and so you won't be here and now. Same goes if you try to reproduce a past experience. Don't judge the vibration and when thoughts come don't judge the thoughts, don't try to eliminate the thoughts, simply go back to the vibration, put it back on the center stage of your inner personal space. At some point, I will fade the vibration out and it will disappear. When it does, you'll have approximately a minute of keeping the vibration alive in your own mind, letting it naturally resonate within you.
Okay, now let's go of the vibration. The meditation is over. Let your body do what your body needs to do. Trust your instincts. Take a nice deep breath. Open your eyes. Get reacquainted to the environment around you. And as you are here seated in peace, maybe with a smile on your face, maybe not, don't force anything, keep it natural. The quote is by Pima Children today and I would like you to contemplate on it and let me know how this quote resonates with you, either in an email or in the comment section below. And she says, Nothing ever goes away until it has taught us what we need to know. I like it. There's always a lesson to take from events of life, from how we interpret events of life, and how we let these events affect us. Often when our thoughts hop from one thought to another, when our mind hops from one thought to another, it is looking for some sort of resolution. Sometimes the best resolution to take is surrender. Because if you're looking for a solution to a problem, you're letting that problem run your life. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes, it is simply more fruitful to acknowledge a challenge and to accept it. That will release you from the problem, from trying to find a solution for the rest of your life. And so when something happens, note, what will you learn from it? Will you learn to surrender, to let it go? Or maybe there's another type of lesson in there so that you can improve for the future. Try to think now of one or two events, maybe an important one and a less important one. What were the lessons that were taught to you? And would you be better off surrendering to that issue and simply letting it go? so much for being here today for taking the time and giving yourself the opportunity the gift of being present in the moment of being calm of stillness and experiencing the core of who you really are remember that it doesn't matter if today was deep or not so deep it is all part of a process the important thing is to keep practicing and to make your mindfulness and meditative practices as consistent as you can. If you're interested, remember that you can have access to daily meditations with me, as well as other cool perks by becoming a supporter of Meditation with Raphael on Patreon. I highly recommend that you subscribe to my weekly letter that I send out once a week, where I share thoughts on meditation, mindfulness, self-transcendence, and living a great life, as well as news on the content I post on the podcast, on YouTube, and on the blog. You can sign up there for free directly on my website, www.raphaelwriter.com. Have a look at the links in the show notes for the Patreon page, the podcast, the links to the blog, the free weekly letter, and ways to get in touch with me. I always love hearing from you, so do not hesitate to send me a message on Twitter or Instagram or directly on my email. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to share these meditations with anybody that might benefit from them, and until next time, 
Remember that I see you, I feel you, and I appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.